climate change. What isn't? And should we be concerned? I'm meteorologist Jason Myers, and our climate has been changing since the beginning of our planet, waxing and waning between ice ages and warm periods. Most of these fluctuations have been because of naturally occurring events like volcanic eruptions and variations in the sun's output. Evidence of that can be found as recent as 200 years ago when additional volcanic eruptions around the world caused the year without summer. So why is everybody up in a tizzy about climate change this time around? After all, Scientists have been studying this since 1896, and then we thought climate change would be a good thing for people. But now, climate change is happening really fast, changing faster than it has in the last 1300 years. And 97% of scientists agree. It's because of people and our activities on this planet. Ever since the Industrial Revolution, people have pumped a lot of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide is the big culprit you hear about most often, but methane, nitrous oxide, and even water vapor are to blame too. As all of these gases go up, so does the temperature. All but one of the 16 hottest years on record have occurred since 2000. And while a warmer winter may sound great, there are a lot more negative consequences. Things like really hot, oppressive summers, big changes in precipitation patterns, meaning more flooding, longer droughts, and stronger thunderstorms. Hurricanes are going to get a lot bigger and stronger as the oceans warm up. Experts agree sea level could rise between one and four feet by the end of the century, which would displace a lot of people who live on islands and near the coast. And without those cold winters to thin out the bug population, there are going to be a lot more bugs flying around, including mosquitoes, which spread deadly diseases. While bugs and disease would be on the rise, there's likely to be mass extinctions because that's what's happened with every other previous big change in our climate. And all of that, according to 97% of climate scientists, say that could happen because of us if we don't change our ways. But if you still don't believe that 97% of scientists whose job it is to study the climate, what's it really going to hurt you to cut back on our pollution, recycle, and maybe just drive a little bit less? Thanks for watching this video. Please like it, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one, and of course, don't forget to comment below on your thoughts on climate change.